current knitting spot. I've got my coffee and I'm going to sit in this lovely armchair next to the fire. Meanwhile, the young man here makes some funny noises behind me playing on a game on my tablet.
I was just about to say good evening and then I burped. <laughs> How very uncouth. Hello. Hope you've had a lovely day. We certainly have. It's been really glorious here. We've been to Bamber, as you will already have seen. I spent a few hours on the beach and at the museum and generally exploring around. It was marvellous. I've all got slightly windburnt cheeks now. Uh, and uh, yes, my hair's been mostly under a hat and a hood, so it's very flat and frizzy and weird. Um, it's been very relaxing. It's been a dead steady day. Tomorrow we're going to visit a place called Christ. No, it's not Christ. It's Craster. Um, a little village and you park there and then you walk about a mile and a half along the um, coastal path to a castle called Dunstanborough Castle. Um, so we're booked to go there, I think it's 10 to 11 or 10.30 to 11, our time slot for getting in. Got any chilo go. Um, so we're going to do that in the morning and then I think we're going to have some dinner out, probably like a main meal type of thing, so that we don't have to cook a big meal in the evening. And then... Uh, yeah, that's. Just, I think we've got um, a visit to Cragside planned. I may have already said all of this on Thursday. And then in between, we're just going to fill it with some walks and visits to beaches and things like that. So um, not too, not too jam-packed, just taking it steady, which is what I think we all really need. My cold's been a lot better today than it was yesterday. Uh, and I think the slow, steady start really helped. So the main problem I've got now is this thing in the corner of my mouth, which if I come much closer, you don't really want to see. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it, I don't think it's a cold sore, but I'm going to find a pharmacy tomorrow and get some Fusibet cream or something to see if I can um, clear clear it up quite quickly. I've tried with tea tree oil for a few days and it's not really touching it and I've used a normal antiseptic cream on it as well and it's just not shifting so I think I need something with a bit of steroid and a bit of antifungal in it just to it's obviously got a bit of an infection in there that's nice isn't it anyway um Cosmo's just having his bath and it's Johnny's turn to put him to bed and then I'm going to be having a bath myself and doing some crochet so I'll show you my progress on my sock in a little while but <clears throat> that's it for today oh the other thing is i've mentioned this in previous vlogs you we won't be able to see this because it's so teeny weeny and it won't focus on it because it's focusing on my face but i get a hole in my finger if i knit on socks too much with the pointy little steel needles and it opened up today it won't stop me knitting socks um, it just makes it a little bit more awkward and every so often I forget it's there and jab the needle end in it and that really hurts <coughs> really really hurts <laughs> uh, but I'm just going to crochet tonight and just save the knitting of the sock for when we're out and about and then hopefully that should give it more of a chance to heal up but that's it really I'll probably might think of something else to show you but if I don't I'm going to say night night now anyway because I won't speak to you again but I'm going to read um, a chapter of Ivy's book with her now I'm reading I still read to her she still absolutely loves having stories um, together even though she reads to herself all the time as well but we still have a story together and we're reading um, Explorers at Black Ice Bridge at the moment we've just started that she had it for a birthday so that's my next job night night everyone <laughs>